Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a storyboard in Photoshop even if you can't draw just like me. So first of all in Photoshop we're going to open a new file so go file new and um, I'm going to use uh, international paper A4. Um, obviously if you're in the US you can uh, use letter or something like that but I'm going to go with A4 and then you click on OK and first of all we're going to just rotate this so we're working with a landscape uh, page. So I'm going to go to image and image rotation and 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in here a bit. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and just zoom in slightly like that. And um, first of all, we're going to start drawing our frames. Okay, and I'm going to create a new layer by clicking here at the bottom. And uh, then I'm going to click on the rectangle tool here and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle. Something like that. And then I'm going to set the width and the height. So I'm going to make it 900 pixels wide by 500 um, for the height and uh, then we're going to just duplicate this a couple of times So what you can do is just hold in alt on your keyboard click and drag to duplicate that frame Do the same duplicate it one more time and you'll see it will snap into place And then what you can do is just highlight all these rectangles here all the layers on the side and then hold in alt click and drag down one more time and Then you've got nine frames. So that's all good and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all these rectangles and then just move them kind of in the center of the page. Something like that. Okay, then um, on the side where you see your layers, you can just right click and then I'm going to click on flatten image. And that's just going to flatten everything into one layer. So you've got one layer, um, if I unlock that, um, which is basically the white background and the frames. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure this layer is locked so we can't actually change anything there. And then I'm going to create a new layer. Right, so before we start with that new layer, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to create another page. Just uh, let's just select International Paper A4 again, click on OK, and I'm just going to rotate this again, 90 degrees clockwise. And this is basically where we're going to draw our characters. So as I said before, I cannot draw to save my life, so please don't laugh, but I'm going to try and just show you guys a really easy way to do this. So first of all, uh, click on New Layer to just create another layer, and then we're going to draw our first character. So um, I'm just going to draw a really, really rough uh, male character. So we've got a head, maybe some spiky hair, create some eyes and a mouth. And then for the body, I usually just do like a little stick figure type of thing, something like that. And let's give him some arms as well. So really, really simple stuff. As I can say, I cannot draw to save my life and maybe a nose as well. And um, obviously your storyboards, it doesn't have to be works of art. It's basically just for you to, to visualize your, your framing. Um, and once you, once you have that, it's actually good enough. So that's good enough for our first character. And let's draw our second character, which is going to be a female. So let's give her some nice long hair, something like that. And some eyes and a mouth and maybe a nose as well. And just a body, something like that. And maybe some arms as well that's always good okay and let's draw one more character so this character i'm going to give some uh, glasses so something like that maybe it's like a professor or something spiky hair maybe some kind of sideways spikiness cool mouth nose and let's draw a body and some arms okay that's really it's really good enough awesome amazing art so um, now let's go back to our main document and let's say for our first frame we want to only show the professor character maybe in a wide shot so what you do go to your second page and click on your selection rectangle and I'm just gonna select this guy and then I'm gonna press command C to copy that go back to my first page and then paste that command V and um, then you can press command T on your keyboard and that will bring up the scale or um, where you can actually change the size. And then you can hold in shift while you do this to keep the proportions. I'm going to make him quite small. Move him into this frame, something like that. Press enter. And basically we have our first frame. Okay, now let's say we want to uh, maybe have another character walking into frame on the second uh, shot. So I'm going to copy this guy. So I'm going to hold in alt, just drag him across. And maybe we want to bring in the girl. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight the girl copy that, go back to our first page, paste that, press command T on the keyboard to scale, 
holding shift to uh, scale proportionally, something like that, that's good enough, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I'm just gonna move it into place, press enter, and then you can maybe just draw a little arrow here to show that she's actually moving into frame. Okay, so let's say we wanna show a medium close-up of the girl in the third shot. So let's go back, and I'm just gonna copy this top section of the girl, because we don't really need the bottom section. Go back, paste, and uh, now I'm going to kind of move it into place, press command uh, T to resize it, something like that maybe. And uh, let's just move it down a bit, press enter to set that. And then you can take your selection tool and then you can basically just delete everything that's outside the frame. Just highlight it, press delete on the keyboard and there you go. Okay, next we want to maybe show a close up of the professor dude. So let's go in here, let's select him, only the top section, go back, paste, uh, command T to resize maybe something like that, move me into place, maybe something like that, press enter, take our selection tool, and let's just delete everything outside the frames, really simple. Cool, there we've got our shot. And next we maybe wanna show a extreme close up of the girl. All right, so let's go back, select the girl, only the top section, because we're only gonna use that. Go back, paste that, come on T to resize, and let's scale it up a bit. Extreme close up of the eyes maybe, something like that. Cool, press enter, take your selection tool, delete everything above the frame and also everything below the frame. Cool, perfect, we've got a shot. And maybe just delete some stuff here on the side that's overlapping a little bit. Okay, next up, let's say we want to bring in this little guy. Okay, so let's take him, copy, paste, and maybe it's another wide shot where we show all three of them. So I'm gonna just make this an extreme wide shot so they're really, really small. Move this guy over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my characters and um, we can either do one at a time or we can copy both of them. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Let's paste that, command T to resize, scale it down. Uh, whoops, move it into place, press enter and let's grab the professor. Copy, paste, command T and scale him down move me into place something like that press enter and then maybe just a few arrows on this side to show that this character is walking in from this side which is cool and let's say we want to do a close-up of this guy so let's go back to this one take the head copy paste that and come on T to scale extreme close-up of the dude and you can see our stuff is actually overlapping onto another frame and we don't really have to worry because it's on a separate frame. Press enter, take your selection tool and cut off the stuff outside the frame. There we go, maybe on the side. I'm sure you get the picture. Okay, let's say we want to show a close-up of the, maybe of the girl's hand maybe for some reason. So I'm just going to copy that area there. And obviously if you can draw a little bit you can you can draw in a little bit more detail so you can actually see the hand or whatever so obviously you can do something like that and i'm just going to delete everything outside of the frame okay really quickly really quickly there we go so that's the hand and uh maybe lastly let's do an extreme close-up of the professor again so let's paste that in come on t to scale scale it up quite actively extreme close-up there we go press enter take your selection tool delete everything outside of the frame okay and there you go really really simple way to create storyboards in photoshop um, and as you can see you don't really have to be able to draw um, you just need to draw your characters once on this page and then basically just copy paste copy paste copy paste and let's say you want to maybe change some feature so what i'm going to do i'm going to merge all these layers together so i'm going to highlight all these layers by holding shift and right click and then i'm going to go merge layers and uh, then what you can do is just take your eraser and maybe uh, this guy is smiling in this frame here at the bottom so i'm going to erase the mouth there and click on the paint thing just draw a little smile perfect and maybe you want this guy to be a little bit more angry or a little bit more sad just do that okay another thing that you can do is let's take the uh, text tool and let's just call this page one place it right at the top so you can just keep track of the page number and uh, then you can also add in some descriptions underneath your shots so you can maybe do your um, wide shot of guy walking in or whatever uh, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, something like, like that's good enough. 
and uh, then you can go ahead and just hold in alt just uh, duplicate that move it across and then you can maybe call this uh go whoops walks into shot etc and um yeah you can just carry on until you've got all your all the descriptions of all the shots that always makes it a bit easier you can maybe give it a shot number as well maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so a really easy way to create uh, storyboards in photoshop even if you can't draw like me and uh, yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials thanks a lot for watching i do appreciate it and i'll see you guys next week cheers bye